Hi, I'm Mike Thornton. Some of you will know that I've been teaching on cleaning up audio using a variety of tools for more than a decade. Today, in this quick tour, I want to show you Acon Digital's Extract Dialog 2 and how quickly you can get great results in your first five minutes. It's a powerful dialogue cleaner that uses advanced AI to reduce or remove noise and reverb while keeping the voice natural and intact. When you first load the plugin, the AI is already working. It automatically separates the voice, reverb and noise and you'll often get excellent results without touching a thing. Let's take a listen to this real-world example. It's difficult to say what the future holds. I think this can be sustained in its current form for a while, but I think then you have to think forwards and think, you know, do you move to a different building, uh, or do you try and change slightly what you do here, so you involve a bit more worship, uh, a bit more um, sort of prayer, and, and make it a little bit more like a Christian service. The three faders on the left enable you to adjust the volume of each component. As I lower the noise fader, listen as the background fades away. Uh, or do you try and change slightly what you do here, so you involve a bit more worship, uh, a bit more um, sort of prayer, and, and make it a little bit more... Likewise, with the reverb fader, I can reduce the reverb level in the recording to dry it up as much or as little as I need. A bit more um, sort of prayer, and, and make it a little bit more like a Christian service than it is at the moment, but I mean, obviously... Alternatively, you can use the solo buttons... Change slightly what you do here, so you involve a bit more worship, uh, a bit more um, sort of prayer uh, and make it a little bit more like a Christian service than it is at, at the moment in its current forms. It's difficult to say what the future holds. I think this can be sustained in its current form. And these can help you identify where the problems are. You can also resize the plugin to fit the available screen space. As I shrink it down, we lose the sensitivity EQ panel and slowly squeeze it down until we get to the compact view. But for now, we'll resize it back to the full display. The gray area shows the source audio and the colored line, the spectral analysis for each element. So orange for voice, pink for reverb, and purple for noise. As you've already heard, the AI has been optimized so that the sensitivity setting works very well at 0%, but there may be times when you need to adjust the sensitivity of the AI. If you want to adjust the sensitivity, pushing up the line means less processing as more of the original signal is being let through. Or by pulling down, you get more processing which results in more of the original signal being taken away. In addition, each element can have its own frequency-dependent sensitivity curve to focus processing exactly where the problems are and leave other areas untouched. Let's add a high-frequency shelving curve to the noise element. See that as I adjust the sensitivity, but during the, day, the curve affects the sound of the noise without changing the tone of the voice or the reverb. On industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. Now we're going to walk down to the very stage where Paul Robeson stood and sang. These sensitivity controls give you independent control of each element so that you can, for example, boost the clarity of the high end of the voice without changing the reverb or the noise profile. Progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the mind. It's a fast and accurate way to fine tune what the AI is already doing under the hood. But there's more. In addition to the frequency sensitivity curves, each element in Extract Dialog 2 has its own EQ section. You can switch between editing the sensitivity curve and the stem output equalizer by clicking on the EQ toggle button. So now we're in EQ mode. Here's a voiceover recording on a busy street in New York. So this is Broadway and Canal Street. I can use the EQ feature to roll off the bottom end of the street. traffic noise without very, affecting very the rest of the people. ambience or the tone of the voice. And there it voice. is. I just looked to my right and immediately 
there's a sort of, could you call it a gift shop? It's just selling loads of tourist tat, really. If you have a situation where the reverb is a little bright, as in the example we started with, rather than simply reducing the reverb level, I can use the EQ feature to roll off the top end of the reverb without affecting the voice or the room tone. It's difficult to say what the future holds. I think this can be sustained in its current form for a while, but I think then you have to think forwards and think, you know, do you move to a different building uh, or do you try and change slightly what you do here so you involve a bit more worship, uh, a bit more um, sort of prayer and, and make it a little bit more like a Christian service. But what if I wanted to brighten the top end of the voice without impacting the reverb or the noise elements? It's no problem. What the holds. I, I can use the can EQ feature on the voice element. But I think then you have to think forwards and think, you know, do you move to a different building uh, or do you try and change slightly what you do here so you involve a bit more worship, uh, a bit more um, sort of prayer and, and make this it a bit This element by more... element EQ control is what gives Extract Dialog 2 its edge over other dialog restoration products. There are a couple of other features that I want to touch on before I finish. Firstly, this button in the bottom right hand corner is the audition option. It's difficult when to you say click on this button, you can audition can be what's being removed. For a while, but I think then you have to think forwards and think, you know, do you move to a different building? Uh, or do you try and change slightly what you do here? So you it's great for here, checking uh, you're not losing any uh, useful detail. Secondly, for advanced workflows, you can route each element, voice, reverb and noise to separate tracks in Pro Tools. Create three AUX return tracks with the same track width as the audio track, in this case stereo. On the AUX return tracks, click the track input pop-up and at the bottom of the menu you'll find plug-in, Acon Digital Extract Dialog 2, then the track name and the insert slot and then the option to select voice, reverb, or noise. So we'll start by choosing the voice for the first AUX return and then repeat for the reverb and noise stem outputs. One tip, make sure that you mute the original track to avoid double routing. Now this is the concert hall where Paul Robeson uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation. Progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. Alternatively, you could use the audio suite version of Extract Dialog 2 and render out the stems directly to the timeline by duplicating the track three times, relabeling the tracks, and then use the solo buttons on the plugin to render out the three stems. Thirdly, if you need it, this button gives you a full stereo processing mode, processing the audio using mid and side rather than left and right. So this is Broadway and Canal Street, and it's a big shopping district. Very, very busy, lots of people. And there it is. I just looked to my right, and immediately... This can improve sort of... the processing quality especially, as in this example, where the voice is centred in the stereo field while the noise and or reverb are decorrelated across the stereo channels. So that's Extract Dialog 2. Start with the three main faders and let the AI do the heavy lifting. If you need it, open up the full view to focus sensitivity and EQ on the areas that need more attention. If you need more detail on how to use the plugin, you can open the menu in the top right hand corner and select Help to view the full user manual. Thanks for watching and enjoy exploring what Extract Dialog 2 can do for your dialog tracks.